tell y'all, man, it's not even 11 o'clock. And it already feel like it's like 110 outside right now. Golly, man. I mean, right now, boy, this damn sun right here knocking the black off of people right now, man. For real. Boy, I know yesterday, man, yesterday I felt like a damn violated stepchild. Yesterday, man, that damn, that damn sun beat me up so bad yesterday. Oh, man. I know, yes, I know yesterday too. Also, Mario, he wasn't even feeling too good yesterday, man. You can see it in his eyes. Mario's like, man, I think I didn't have enough. Whew, wait. Man, so I guess y'all see what's coming in. Three. Three. <laughs> Damn, boy. And see, this is exactly what I mean when I call these right here pieces of shit. I got three BMWs, and just yesterday, I just took one off a of damn me trailer. So there's four BMWs in two days. Two days, four. Man, people wanna ride in style and all this other stuff. I want class, I want this. Shit, man. I tell you, man. Crushing a BMW is just like crushing another regular car now. I don't really see anything no differently about it at all, period. Nothing differently about it. But y'all know there are some cars that I do not crush a whole lot are the Suzuki's. I do not crush a lot of Suzuki's. If I, you know, if I do, maybe they're, you know what I'm saying, torn up cars already that's already been broken apart, already had a lot of parts and stuff taken off and stuff like that. But otherwise, otherwise, I really don't crush that many at all. Not even, the, not, I mean, not even the trucks. Now, I may crush a lot of the Isuzu rodeos from back in the days, but some of the newer models of Suzuki's, you really don't crush at all, period. Cause you know, I mean, you you would know. Whoa, what was that? You would know what you would crush if you're crushing it. You know what I mean? I mean, you would actually know what would it be. I mean, sh I crush a lot of the same cars almost every damn me day. So, the bongo he had a question for me. He said, "Have you ever had a Maserati come through for crush?" No, sir. No, sir, man, never had a Maserati come through for crush. I haven't seen one in a while. I mean, I, you know, not for me, but you get what I mean. I haven't seen one being crushed in a while. Uh, I don't really see any of them like at the high-end junkyards and stuff like that. You know, I mean, if you do see one, it may be like took it all apart, but no, man, I haven't had one come in for crush, man. I, I would love to crush one. That way I could just piss some people off, man. That's all I want to do is just piss people off. I mean, it's part of the job, man. Part of the job, like I always say. Can't have no mercy in this game right here, y'all. Can't have no mercy whatsoever. Because if you do, then you're going to be overwhelmed with so many cars that you can't even keep up with. I gotta check this hybrid right quick, make sure they ain't got that big old battery pack. So I got another question from my TikTok. His name is Brain Fart. Boy, I tell you, man, some of these names right here are just so goddamn we just funny and corny all at the same damn time. So he asked, have you ever crushed a Dodge Viper? No, I have never crushed a Dodge Viper before in my life, man. I mean shh. I have to say, the last time I seen a Dodge Viper was about two weeks ago. That was, that was the last time I ever seen a damn me Dodge Viper. I mean, shh. I have to say, man, you, you don't even, you don't even really see, uh, you know, you, I mean, you don't even really see them on the road. I mean, even if you do, you may find somebody trying to restore one or something like that. That's about it. But other than that, nah, man. Uh-uh. Uh, but I would like to crush one. Like I always say, that way I can piss people off, man. I mean, what else? What, what else? What more can I say about that situation? 
there's nothing, there's no more to say about that, period. Yeah, so this won't be the last BMW I won't be, I'll be crushing today. Like I said, I still got that one more that I had pulled up yesterday. I tell you, man, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Whew. I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. Today, I'm not even feeling it today, man. I'm just going to be honest with you guys, man. I mean, seriously. After getting beat like a stepchild behind that sun yesterday, man, that shit put cold on your body, man. And it makes it, it makes it even worse when you done, when you done previously had a heat stroke six and a half years ago. So it's like, eh, hey, hey, hey. It's like you're still trying to, it's like you're still trying to recuperate because it takes a lot more longer for your body to recuperate after having a heat stroke. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I ain't scared of the heat. I just can't, I just can't tolerate it. Tolerate a whole bunch of it. It's all right. It is a okay. The last victim right here. Oh, Audi Q7 Quattro. Mexico did take out the motor because the motor did run and drive. It's just, I don't know. I think it was like some type of electrical problem somewhere. I don't know. I think it was like somewhere in the dash or something like that. And I guess the owner was talking about. I was gonna charge them like five thousand dollars or something like that to figure out what electrical problem it was or something like that. So that baby ended up here, man. Ended up right here in this spot right here. Boy, I tell you, man. I, I tell you, I tell you. I tell you. So hot rod, what's up, homie? So hot rod, he had a question for me. He said, "Have you ever crushed a school bus before?" Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Man, don't forget. Don't forget, Hot Rod. Uh, probably a couple of years ago, I tore that bus in half for your birthday, that big-ass uh, school bus. So you can't forget about that one either. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I have crushed several of them. You know, uh, I crushed several of them at that one spot uh, when I had hail picking up them half-in buses, the buses that were full, full of... Uh, um, paint cans, them old school paint cans. There was like four or five hundred of them in each section of a big ass bus that those guys had ripped in half. And I was like, damn, boy. Man, I had hell at that place right there. Man, these little old bitty T-Rex forks, boy, it was something crucial trying to pick up them big ass school buses. But I made it all happen, man. I made it all happen. But it's been a while since I, since I crushed any. It has been a minute. I mean, I would love to turn that one up in half. I would love to, man. And I think that's the only school bus I did tear in half for a uh, for a birthday shout out. Yeah, man, that was like that was shit, man. I think like a year, a year and a half ago, something like that. Well, that sucker right there, man. It, it was it was hell at first, but then but but then you know you know once I find out the uh, little old bitty soft spots, the sweet spots of it. Started shoving my fork up off in there, man. Everything was just breaking and tearing up. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, man. And I think the video was like, uh, I think it was like five minutes or eight minutes long. I think that's all it was. And that's how long it took me just to just to tear a damn bus up. Like five to eight minutes just to tear it in half. Two big old pieces. Of course, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's pretty damn me good, if you ask me. Without using no excavator or nothing. No sawzall, no nothing. Just straight. Just straight up. Bam! Just with my force. Then turns around, crush the two pieces, load them babies up on the truck. There it is right there, man. The POS bundle right there. POS with a bag and tag, baby. Man, I tell y'all, boy, that damn sun right now, man, man, that damn, blah, 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 that damn sun right now is being mighty disrespectful, man. Oh, man. I mean, that damn sun out there is slapping the shit out of people right now, boy. Man, I just got slapped in the face about 10 times being out there. Man. And my day and our day is just now, just now beginning, baby. 
It is just now beginning. Because it'd be like this. Everybody complain about the heat when the summertime is here. Or everybody don't want to be cold when the wintertime gets here. And you got to make up your mind sometime, babe. You got to make up your mind sometime. Shit, it's been a minute, man, since I crushed one of these things right here. It's been a long time. Very long time. Oh, that was right there. She alright, man. But she, still got, she still got some good parts on her for sale. But it <laughs> looks like they won't be getting sold. That's for damn me, show. Deal with trash. Got some nice leather seats, but not even more. Little sunroofs on the top, they got messed all up. I don't know if it's worth taking off these tail lights or not. I don't know, maybe the mirrors, I don't know. But the motor is gone along with the computer and everything else that goes with it. Stay up and I'll stay up. Peace, I'm out.